welcome back to your girl's youtube channel it's your girl finda and we is back with another banger on a video period per anyways y'all so we are back with another banger if you know you know if you don't know you don't know you see me i see you period okay Anyway, so before we get, in, get into this video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone that's been watching my videos. Thank you to everyone that's been sharing my videos, that's been, that turned on their post notifications, people who's been commenting on my videos. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, boo. Thank you, boo-boos. Thank you, okay? Thank you. We're on our way to 600 subscribers. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't understand how happy I am. I am so excited. Like, this... I am blessed. I'm gonna put you guys, I'm gonna put my boys on and I'm gonna put my females on. Okay, we're gonna have some frankation, we're gonna have some sneakication, we're gonna have some vacation. We're gonna, you're gonna have all type of vacation, sneakation, whatever you wanna have, call it. You're gonna have that, but you're gonna have it on a budget. I'm gonna give you a little bit of Fender knowledge, okay? This is what I do that makes me afford. A trip a vacation or whatever whatever you're calling okay so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of knowledge now you don't have to like do exactly what I do but baby if you do what I do I promise you can afford that vacation okay but let me stop talking let's just get into this video and let me just go ahead and show you guys just a little bit of snip a little bit of snip and then you can take one or two things from it and then make it into your own. So first, go ahead and get your pen, go ahead and get your paper, take some notes. If not, baby, you can always come back and then watch. Okay, you can always come back and watch. But let's get into this vacation. Let's get, <laughs> vacation. I'm thinking about a vacation already, y'all. Let's get into this video. And if you're new to this channel, baby, come a little closer. Come, come, come closer. <laughs> Come a little closer, come a little closer, baby, baby. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for joining my family. And if you're not new to this channel, baby, y'all already know how we rolling. Y'all already know how we feel to grow. Y'all already know how we, we're growing, we're glowing all 2021. Okay? We're unstoppable. Okay? But anyways, let's get into this video. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to be looking on this way, and I'm going to be looking on right here because I have my notes written down, so that way I'm not everywhere. But, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to call this Afinda Knowledge. A clue? <laughs> Afinda Knowledge. Now, you can use this for vacations, or you can use this for a budget. I use this method for pretty much anything I do, and it works for me every single time. But it's just seven steps okay it's seven steps and i'll try and then like make this a really quick video so that way it's not too boring for y'all okay but let's get into this oh video this video so step number one y'all step number one what step number one this is this is it let's figure out where you're going where are you going when are you going okay when are you going and do you have a job do you have funds coming in like do you have any source of funds that's coming in every two weeks every week or every month like do you have those do you do you got those okay so step number one i'm gonna repeat that again do you have the funds do you have a job okay where are you going <laughs> and when are you going okay so figure that out first that's step one. Now, step number two. Step two. See, step one wasn't that hard. <laughs> step two, you write down, you go ahead and you write down everything you will need and everything that you'll want. For example, let's say you let's let's just say we're going to where are we going? Let's say we want to go to mm, I got one. Let's say we want to go to Miami, okay? Let's say, oh, okay, I want to go to Miami and I want to go to Miami in August. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write down Miami. And I'm going to go ahead and write down in August. And let's say I want to go in the, at the end of August. So like, let's say August 26. Okay, let's say I'm going to Miami and I'm going to August 26. And I got a job and I get paid bi-weekly. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, 
So I'm I'm going to Miami and I'm going to in August 26th and I get paid bi-weekly. Okay. So now we have, so step number two. Step number two said write down everything I'm going to need and everything I'm going to want. Usually when I go on my vacations, I know for a fact that I'm gonna need a ticket. Okay. So this is something that you do. You write this on you write this on your notes, in your notes, in your journal, wherever you write your, just go ahead and put it down somewhere where you can always go back to and then look back at, okay? So you're gonna need your ticket, okay? You're gonna need a ticket. You're gonna need transportation, okay? Are you fin are you gonna rent a car? Are you planning on taking Uber? Or whatever transportation you're doing, go ahead and write it down. Let's go ahead and put transportation, okay? Now, we know for a fact we need food. Okay, we're gonna need food, so we're gonna have to budget for food. So we're gonna go ahead and write down food. What else do we need? Uh, we know we're gonna need gas, right? So if we rent a car, we know we're going to need gas. So let's go ahead and pull gas. And if you don't need gas, let's say you're just doing Uber, you don't have to write that down. But if you know you're gonna, if you know that you're gonna rent that car, you're going to need gas. Okay. And now the next important one is where are you staying? Are you staying at a hotel? If you're staying at a hotel, baby, go ahead and write that down. Because you know, you, you need money for you to pay for that. If you're not staying at a hotel, you're staying at a friend house, then even better for you. But you know, if you go on vacation, you don't want to stay with your family members because then they tell you what to do. But let's just go ahead and put down a hotel, okay? Now, the next one that we're gonna do is you know you gotta pay for baggage, especially if you're flying. If you're flying and then you know you're flying from Texas to Miami, you're gonna know you gotta pay baggage. Now, if you're paying baggage, depending on what airplane, what air flight you're taking, right? Because we both know if you take American Airlines, it's only $25 for your baggage. Now, if you go ahead and you go take <laughs> spirits. My sister, my brother, you're on your own. Because all of us know <laughs> spirit and not cheap for baggage. You can get small listing, but it's like $55, $60. I would not know. So let's just go ahead and stay American Airlines since that's what I always take. So we're going to go ahead and take American Airlines. Now what I got is I just went ahead and wrote down everything so far that I know I need. Okay? All right. So I've written that down. That was step two. Now step three. Step three saying... It said now we gotta list it and budget the amount. Okay, so we've already list what we what what we got. Now we gotta budget. Now, if you already know where you're going, let's say you're going to Miami on August 26th, and you're taking American Airlines. Let's say the tickets from Miami from the 26th to the 30th, it's only 230 dollars. Okay, so for the ticket, you're gonna go ahead and write down 230 dollars. Okay. Now for transportation, I usually always rent a car when I go places. So and another thing is, if you rent a car, let's say you're under 25, you also know like you have to pay that extra fee for the um for you to rent a car. So you also don't forget for you to add that as well. So let's say my transportation, let's say my Uber for those 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's say I'm staying there for four days. So like let's say my transportation for me to for me to uh rent a car is going to be about let's say 260. That's including the um the underage fee. Okay. So 265. Let's go 265 dollars. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down as well. So my ticket is $230. My transport, my transportation, I know already is gonna be $265, okay? Now, I know food. Me, I'm very hungry. When I go out, I like to eat. I like to try different things. I'm not gonna to go to McDonald's when I go to Miami because I know when I come back in Texas, I have that here. So I like to eat. So you know yourself, so make sure you budget on what you know you're going to afford. Don't 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 get yourself into something that you cannot afford don't act big when you know you don't have it okay so let's say for my food usually for my food i'll usually budget for like 150 dollars okay so let's say for food i'm just gonna go ahead and budget for 150 so i'm gonna go ahead and write down 150 dollars in my notepad or in my wherever i'm writing it right now let's just go ahead and i'm, I'm gonna write it down there so now let's say gas yes i'm take i'm renting a car and I know for gas, I, don't, I only need to pull gas one time and that's whenever I'm taking it back 
to where I got it okay so like usually for uh, gas i'll always budget for 40 dollars just to be on the safe side so let's say gas is only 40 dollars okay that's cheap but that's good <laughs> all right so now let's say we say hotel now you're going to miami miami is not cheap you know them hotels is gonna be 800 plus especially if you want somewhere good somewhere with a good view you know you're going to have to spend don't be stingy on yourself do not be stingy on yourself, okay? Because we're gonna afford this trip. But let's say the hotel, let's say, let's say we're gonna budget the hotel because we know Miami is very expensive. So like, let's say hotel with our budget for the hotel is $900, okay? So let's go ahead and write down 900, let's say 950, just to be on the safe side. We're gonna say $950 for it, okay? And then now we cannot forget about our baggage. Now we're going and we're coming. And we're taking American Airlines, so it's $25, $25 each. So $25 to go, $25 to come, okay? So let's say that's $50 right there. Am I correct? Like for $25, $25. Yep, that's $50 right there. So we're going to go ahead and set it for $50, okay? Now that I got everything down, so I got my ticket, I got my transportation, I got my gas, I got my hotel, I got my baggage claim. I'm going to go ahead and add, the, add everything up and then get the total, okay? So give me a second. Let me add all of this up and then we'll be back. 2,000 years later. What did you get? I got a total of $1,685. That's what I got so far. That sounds like a lot of money. It is, but it's worth it. It's worth every dime, okay? It's worth it. Now, also keep in mind, this is just something that you need. This is not even your wants right now. This is just your needs. These are your needs. These are things that you're going to need in order for you to get to that place. And when you get there, these are things that you're going to need to afford, okay? Now, now that we got that, we got to now write down what we will want to do. Okay, so that one is a whole different budget. That one is a whole different thing. So now with that one, you have to know what it is when you get to that place, what are you doing? And you know, every time when you go to somewhere, there's nothing cheap, especially in Miami. So let's say like you plan on going to go do stuff, you plan on going to the beach, you plan on going out to go club, to go drink. So let's say all of that little things that you plan on doing, let's say it's gonna cost you about $500. So let's say that's your budget, okay? So for that one, we're just gonna say your, we'll just, we'll just put it down as other, okay? We'll put that down as other and then we're gonna list it as $500, okay? Now, we're gonna add that $500 into the $1,685 budget, okay? So if we add that to it, we're looking about, give me a second. You're looking about $2,185. Oh my gosh, Fina, that's a lot of money. That is such a lot of money. How are you going to afford that? How do you expect me for me to afford that? Calm down, my sister, my brother, calm down. That is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. But... You work hard for this money. You're working hard. You're working. Some of you are 12 hour shifts, Monday through Friday. Some of you are working 16 hour plus shifts. Okay. You're stressed. You're tired. $2,000 and $185 out of your account. It's not going to hurt you, baby. It's not. It's worth it. It's worth it. So calm down. Because guess what? We're planning this trip in August. And let's say we have, so we have three months for us to plan this trip. Okay. Three months. So we have three months for us to plan this trip and we have three months for us to come up with $2,185. Okay. All right. So that was step three. So step four, step four. Okay. This is, this, this is the major part. So step four. So step four says set a date that you will buy the ticket, hotel and transportation. Okay. For me, usually I always do the big things first, which is my ticket. I get my ticket out the way. I get my hotel out the way and I get my transportation out the way. Okay. Because those are the major things. So this is what I usually do. So usually I get an envelope. Okay. If you have an envelope, so right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven things listed on my 
ones and my knees. I need seven envelopes and each one of those envelopes, you'll write down. So let's say one or two ticket, you're gonna write down ticket. And then one of the next envelope, you're gonna write down transportation, okay? So for each of those seven, you're gonna write down one thing, okay? In each of those one thing, that's where your funds is gonna go in, all right? So let's say we wanna buy the tickets. So let's say we're in, what month are we in? January, February, March, April, May, June. So let's say we're in May, May, June, July, August. Okay, so let's say we're in May, okay? We are in May, I think we're in May. So let's say, cause we are in May. So we in May, okay? So we have June, July, and August for us to come up with this 2000, this 2185, okay? So ticket, let's say two, ticket is $250. And I wanna get ticket because something that I know, that, I've know, that I know and I've learned so far is whenever you get your tickets on Tuesdays, they're cheaper. I may be wrong, but usually whenever I, we, I get my tickets on Tuesday, they're always cheaper. So that's something you should also keep in mind. Get your tickets on Tuesday. So let's, I, w I like to get my tickets on Tuesdays and stuff. So like, let's say I want to get my ticket out the way by the end of May. Okay. I want to buy my ticket by the end of May. So like, let's say we're on May, what's the day? We're May 17th, I think. Okay. So like, I'm a, we in May 17th. So May 17th, and I have till May 30th, okay? So like, let's say I wanna buy my ticket between May 25th to May 30th or 31st, okay? So like, I'm just gonna say, I want my I wanna buy my ticket by May 31st, okay? And I wanna get my hotel by June 15th, okay? So you're writing all of this down, and then you wanna go ahead and get your, um, Rent your car, okay? You're gonna rent your car by May also, May 30th. Because whenever you rent a car, you don't have to pay for it on the spot, okay? You don't have to pay for it on the spot, but whenever you get there, you have to have those funds available. And also, another thing that I also did learn is like also whenever, you, if you're under the age, if you're under 25 and stuff, you have to have a credit card and you also have like, you have to pay like an extra fee and stuff, so yeah. Make sure you keep that in mind. So um, anyway, so we're gonna be paying for our ticket, which is our ticket was $230. We're gonna pay that in May. And then our transportation was $265 and we plan on paying that on May 30th, okay? And then our hotel was $950, which is our big one, which is we're gonna pay that off on June 15th, okay? So June 15th, now I have on the July and August. So like now I'm gonna say, okay, because your baggage, that's only $50. That's not a big deal. Gas, that's not too big of a deal. Now your food, your food, I always budget my food as well, okay? So like let's say for my food, I want to budget my food for me to have $150 saved up for my food by July, okay? By July, by July 3rd, by July 25th, I will have $150 saved up by then. And then for my gas, I'm gonna go ahead and put my gas, I'm gonna have my gas saved up in August. For August 10th, okay? And then for my baggage, I'm also gonna have that saved up for August 10th as well, okay? If you're organized, you'll be a little bit organized than me, but y'all, I have all of this, okay? So I have my, I have my, where I'm going, the day I'm going and I get paid by weekly and then I have what all my needs and my ones and then my other right there okay and then I also have my amounts and then when I plan on when I plan on having all of these things available in my envelope okay all right so now don't forget don't forget your other because even though you're saving up for these things you can't forget about your other you still have to save up for these for this other also for this other you also got to make sure this other, let's say I will have $500 saved up by August 24th. Okay. So we got, so we got everything down. Now we're on step five. Okay. So step five said, start, uh, step five says start saving, get envelopes, or you can do it if, 
if you have an uh, account okay so pretty much what i'm basically trying to say is like you want you start saving so you have everything written down now it's time for you to save up this money now you can do it on an envelope like i said earlier or you can do it on an account if you prefer if an account is more safer for you i personally do it on an, on an account because it's easier for me to just transfer money from one place to another now if you're a cash person if you like cash you like touching that cash baby that's okay too. You can do the envelope version. Now let's go ahead and just do it with the envelope version because the envelope version is how I started and then how it's more easier and understanding. So you need seven envelopes. So seven envelopes, we're getting paid bi-weekly, okay? So let's say we're getting paid bi-weekly. And then let's say you usually get your paycheck is usually roughly about, you make about 700, okay? Let's say roughly you make about $700 bi-weekly, okay? So bi-weekly, you're putting money in each of those seven envelopes every two weeks. You're putting money in there. Even if it's $5, I promise you that $5 is going to add up, okay? So you get paid $700 bi-weekly. Now, I understand you also have different things that you have to pay for. You have bills and then stuff. Go ahead and take care of those bills first. Go ahead and take care of those. So let's out of that $700, you only have $300 left over, okay? You have only $300 left over. If you have if you have lower than $300 left over, that's okay too. But like for now, let's just say you got paid $700, that's how much your check is, but with you taking care of your other businesses and stuff, you only have $300 left over for you to distribute for your trip, okay? That's a perfect amount. Even $100 go a long way, but we're gonna do $300. That's the $300 what you have left with. Out of this $300, I have to save up for these seven things that I have on my list, okay? Now, remember, we went back to, remember, the first thing that we have to get out is our ticket. So we have to put more money, we have to put more money for the ticket and the hotel, okay? So let's say out of that $300, I'm gonna go ahead and put down 50, 50, okay? I'm gonna put $50 in, I'm gonna put $50 in my, uh, for my ticket and I'm gonna put $50 for my hotel, okay? So on your, you, so usually I have, give me a second, okay. I'm back. So usually I have like a book where I write down all my stuff, okay? So like let's say for this week, let's say you just got pay up and then your check was uh, $700, $300 and then you're distributing. And then let's just say you want to put down. So what you do is you get a pen or paper and then you write it down. So like you write down. Let's give it a second. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. So let's say. Okay, so let's say you're in your uh, notebook. So this is how you're keeping up with your stuff. So you're in your notebook, you're writing down. So let's say ticket. So we're gonna put fifty dollars for my ticket. So fifty. So ticket, we're gonna do fifty dollars. So write it down, ticket, and then write down fifty dollars. And then for hotel, go ahead and write down fifty dollars as well because your hotel is not. You have to come up with nine hundred and fifty dollars by June. So for hotel, we're gonna say. $50 as well. We've used a hundred dollars. Now we only have $200 for us to distribute the remaining uh, four. Okay. So we have transportation, gas, hotel, baggage, and other one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's four. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, that's five. Okay. So we have that. So we are $150. Now what I usually do, because these are smaller amount. So what I would do is $200. So I'll do $200 divided by five. Okay. So let's do $200 divided by five. All right, what did you come up with? 40, I got the same thing, you're smart. Anyways, so I also got 40. So pretty much what we're gonna do is $40. So we're gonna put $40 for transportation, $40 for food, $40 for gas, and $40 for uh, baggage, and also $40 for other, okay? So 40, 40, that's only for your first paycheck, okay? So tickets is 50, hotel is 50, transportation, you write that down, is 40, okay? Food is 40, gas is 40, and then baggage is 40, and then other is 40. If you add up all of that together, 
it's gonna give you a total of three hundred dollars okay so now you have 300 so now you distribute them now we're dealing with we're dealing with cash if you have an account you can just go ahead and transfer that into your into your accounts and stuff but if you're doing if you're doing with the envelopes what you're going to do is you're going to go to the bank and then you're going to go ahead and pull out three hundred dollars now don't pull out three hundred dollars in a hundred dollar bill you know you got to do 50 50 so make sure you get you you get like tens, twenties and stuff. So that way you can distribute your money in there. So let's say you have those you have those funds. So you'll come back home, put fifty dollars into your ticket envelope, fifty dollars into your hotel envelope, and then forty dollars into your other ones as well. Okay? So you'll do that for every time you get paid. You're not gonna get paid seven hundred every single time and it's not gonna be the same amount. Okay, it's not the same amount every time. But make sure that the more the ones that if the ticket is more expensive you put more in your ticket and then you pull less on the ones that you don't have to put more in okay all right so we got that so we're gonna go back over so step one where are you going when are you going and is there funds coming in step two you write down everything you will need and everything that you will want okay and then step three you list down and then you budget on how much you think an estimate you budget on how much you think those things will cost okay and then step four you set up dates when you will get the tickets when you will get these things available before the day that you go to your trip and then step five that's whenever you start saving so you have your envelopes ready you have your accounts ready whichever or you're doing it just make sure you have all of those things ready okay and then step six all right, so we're on step six now. So for step six, so step six, since we already got everything that we want, okay? So we got everything. Step six is you repeat it, okay? Six, step six, you repeat it. So let's say next, next paycheck, you get paid $600. Now you don't have $300 remaining. You go ahead and take, handle your business, and then whatever is remaining, you distribute those. Don't forget, you have days that you have to buy the certain things. So you must discipline yourself when to buy things. You must discipline yourself on your needs and your wants. Okay? If this is if a, if a vacation for you is what you need, you have to discipline yourself that your needs comes first before your wants. Okay? So if you do this, like you do all of this, I promise you, this will work out for you. And if you're making it a little bit lower than usual maybe you should just plan four or five months ahead so that way you can have these funds available for you but if you plan this and then like you're going you're doing this because even like five to ten dollars maybe five to ten maybe like you put in only ten dollars this week and then ten dollars next uh you put in ten dollars for the bi-weekly and then next in one month that's like twenty dollars like that ten dollars adds up so don't don't think, oh, yeah, I'm only putting $5 or I'm only putting $10 in here. That's not really, that's a lot of money. $10 is a lot of money. It makes a big difference, especially if you're saving. Because I promise you, when you open these envelopes and then you start counting that, it's your money, baby, you, let me stop. But yes, oh my gosh, it's almost August 24th. I'm feeling on my trip. My trip is August 26th. You're excited and stuff. Don't forget. Do not forget to go deposit that money, okay? Don't forget to go deposit the remaining money because some of these things you have to have a car for you to buy all of these things. You need tickets for your ticket. You need you need a car for your tickets, your transportation, your food, your gas, and hotel and baggage. You need those stuff available. Now, also keep in mind when you go when you travel, some 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 um, airlines doesn't take uh, uh, cash. Most of the airlines takes like. Um, credit cards or like debit cards and stuff so make sure you have that so carry cash just in case but also carry card just in case because some places they just don't accept it and sometimes i don't know if this have happened to any of y'all but let me know if it has like whenever you go like out of state like your bank account your bank card declines like i've been through that and that is so embarrassing and like I don't carry cash, so it's like people just be looking at you like, "Is you broke?" <laughs> I'm not broke. My bank just be tripping. Period. And yeah. So, and step number seven. Okay, this is the most important part of like 
all of this. The most important part is step number seven. Step number seven is have fun doing this. Okay? Have fun doing this. Because if you have fun doing this, it's easy. It's going to be so much easier for you to save up for whatever it is that you want. So have fun doing it. Enjoy doing it. And have fun on your vacation. Have fun on your vacation. If you've learned anything from this, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down below. If you have any like suggestions on like videos or like if you have any suggestions on like how I could do mine or like you have a way you do yours let's have a conversation in the uh in the comment below okay show me your way okay let's learn from each other maybe you know something that i don't know i would love to get to know it okay but if you enjoyed this video give me a like give me a comment share my video so that way you can help other people that don't know about me okay and if you're new to this channel once again thank you welcome baby welcome and if you're not new to this channel we're glowing, we're growing, okay? We're on the way to 600 subscribers, okay? Period. Per. Okay. <laughs> it was nice to, nice to know you. I'm gonna see you again. Yeah. What?